and I did the cover for Nail Pro Magazine for June 2015. Hi, this is Stephanie Lavery and this is Behind the Nail Pros. I loved our shoot today. The neon concept was one of my favorites ever and I'm so glad that you are here to bring the concept to life. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, I can't even tell you how happy I am that I got to be a part of this. This is like one of my all-time dreams. It's been on my vision board. I've wanted to do one of the covers for your magazine for Nail Pro for so long. The day, it just seemed like everything fell into place. There was not one hiccup. Everything just went so great. Like, I was thinking, is every time, is a shoot like this, is, is it like this every time? Like, because I felt it was like perfect and I could have went probably another 10 hours. That's very brave of you. It was a long day. <laughs> yes, it was, but a very fun day. The energy was the energy was there, which I think kept everybody so upbeat and excited about what was going on. What we were producing was just beautiful. So let's talk a little bit about the cover nails. You're working with white polish, which can be tricky. Any tips for when you're creating nails like these? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. I would when you're working with white polish. I would I would definitely do two coats. I would use a very light hand. Um, when putting putting it on because if your hand is too heavy it could make it streaky so I would try to just barely touch the polish to the nail making sure you kind of get that full coverage After you polished the nails white, what did you do next? So uh, we picked out five five really bright neons and we went in and we started, you know, I started placing the color on each nail differently. Let's also talk about the black ones with the neon stripes because those were also one of my favorites. How did you do those? Okay, so these nails, first I did a black base. And to make the neon pop, I learned this through trial, trial and error because I created some nails before I even came in. So what you wanna do is when you're creating the, the, the bright uh, pops of color with the neon stripes, you want to first do it in white do the stripes in white and then lay the neon on top of it. This way the stripes um, of neon will really pop. What other tips can you provide us for using neons? They tend to dry matte and with that being said, like you think you're putting on this pretty vibrant color, but if you put your top coat on top of it, I mean it, it really, really makes that pop. One of the other nails that I want to talk about is the swim cap nails, where it was sort of the negative space ombre blue nail. I think it was a style that we haven't really seen before. Once I started playing with this look, uh, once I had our hand model in front of us, I ju it, it just was coming, the look was coming to life and I forgot all about, you know, mixing even a nude in with it or trying to ombre it with, with other colors and I just went straight with the, the one color kind of feathering out the end and it giving the look that it has.
all of those looks were totally wearable, but one that was really great and that it's super salon friendly was that sort of splatter paint nail that you did. Tell us a little bit about that one. This one, this is funny because everybody thought like that was the most difficult nail. Like they thought we were probably gonna have to wait quite a long time for me to create this nail. Um, and it turns out like it was it was the fastest and most easiest nail. See, I just used that with a fan brush and dipped in several different colors of the of the neon colors. work one color at a time on the brush? I do. You don't have to, but it would be more time consuming if you tried to do three colors on one nail. And then you topped it with glitter. I did. China Glaze just came out with a new neon matte glitter. And it's just, it makes the party. Oh, speaking of which, the name of it is called Point Me to the Party. It's really cool too because it has sort of like a splatter paint effect because all the glitters are different sizes. Right, right, yeah. It's a super simple nail and uh, it looks hard, but it's, it's very easy. Thank you so much, Jolene, for coming and doing all these wonderful neon looks for us. It was such a fun day. The whole shoot was so bright and sporty and summery. I think you did a wonderful job. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. And I just, I had a blast the whole entire day. Like, to date, it was definitely one of the most memorable days of my career. Thank you so much. Sure.